Shalom, 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 yasha'Allah. Well, praise to Yahweh, Bashim, Mashiach, Yahweh, Shai. Priest of Bach, H-O-I, to the chariots fly. Um, all praise to Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai. All the camps in Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai, throughout the four corners of the earth. All my brothers and sisters that are sincere in this truth throughout the four corners of the earth. In the spirit of Yahweh, Bashim, Mashiach, Yahweh, Shai, forever and ever, amen. Um, so tonight on a late night tip, um, I know everybody most likely is resting. I like to do these videos sometime at night so I can just get through my message. If I come on at prime time, everybody start commenting, sending questions or whatever the case may be. But that's neither here nor there. I just want to give y'all a final announcement on um, where we're going to be as far as um, the camp HOI. Um, in Detroit this weekend, uh, most high willing, we're going to be in Detroit this weekend, um, four day weekend, October 15th through 18th, HOI Northeast, um, New York and New Jersey, HOI Atlanta and HOI Detroit will be in Detroit, Michigan this weekend, um, starting Thursday, October 15th through, um, Sunday, October 18th. So I'm going to run down the itinerary of events verbally because, um, as usual, as usual, Israel, we put out the flyer and some of y'all are still asking us questions and you saw the flyer. All right. Obviously, you didn't read it. We got the flyer circulating all over. We do apologize we wanted to have a flyer out with the itinerary like a month ago, but um, due to COVID and, you know, just stuff going on, whatever these cities with different ordinance gatherings or whatever, or being that now certain cities are opening up, you know, they open, they not open. So a lot of more people are having gatherings now that cities are open up. So either... You can't find a place to have a gathering, or if you do find a place, it's booked up for months in advance. So that's what's going on. So we had to really scramble to get a place, and we thank um, all the brothers and sisters that was instrumental in pulling this thing together, because it was not easy, all right? Certain brothers and sisters are modest, so you know, the most I know who did what. But um, all praise to Yahweh when Yahweh was shy, so the, the, to go through it verbally... Because like I said, the flyer is all over the place and people still asking questions. Oh, the meet and greet is Sunday, right? Where that's going to be at? <laughs> you know, um, so we're going to verbally go through the itinerary. It's Thursday, October 15th, 2020. Two, uh, a day from now, day and a half from now. All right, depending on what time it is, where you at in the country. Thursday, October 15th, 2020, will be the new moon. The new moon, all right? New moon, eighth month service. That location is to be announced because that's at a brother's home. We're not just going to put the brother's address out there. You have to be vetted, and we have to make sure you're sincere and uh, want to be part of the body, uh, affiliate, uh, a future recruit of the body of HOI, all right? Or if you're just a brother and sister that's just learning and you don't need a place to congregate. Uh, so you have to be vetted for the address for the new moon. We're not going to put that out in public. Now, that's Thursday, October 15th, 2020 at even. Uh, the new moon service. Service going to start about 8 p.m. Email, inbox me here if you're in the Detroit area, if you're sincere. You're not coming with no follies, no doctrine. You can come and partake of the new moon. Um, Friday. Friday during the day is going to be a free day. Brothers is going to be uh, recuperating from travel and preparing some other things for over the weekend. So Friday during the day will be a free day. That's Friday, October 16th, 2020. At uh, During the day Friday will be a free day. Preparation for the Shabbat or whatever. Um... And Friday night, 8 p.m., 8 p.m., um, brothers will be in Greek Town. All right, Greek Town. Friday, 8 p.m., HOI will be teaching in Greek Town. 
All right, uh, Monroe Street. I, I believe the address is 506 Monroe Street or something like that. It's on the flyer, though. If you're seeing the flyer, the exact address for the camp is on the flyer. It's Monroe Street um, in downtown Detroit, Greek Town. All right. Anybody from the area should be familiar with that. That's 8 p.m. Friday night, Shabbat night, 2020, October 16, 2020, 8 p.m. at Greek Town, Monroe Street. I believe the exact address is 506 Monroe Street or something like that. But once you go down there, you walk down, you'll see the brothers out there. All right. Um, Saturday, Shabbat day, Shabbat day. All right. Um, uh, 2 p.m. Saturday during the day. This is October, Saturday, October 17th, 2020 at even. All right. We're going to be at, um, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. We're going to be at, the. Uh, Marshes Park. I hope I'm saying it right. Um, uh, something Marshes Park. All right. All right. So like, I don't have a um, fly here in front of me, y'all. I apologize. But y'all know, those of y'all that know, um, it's downtown, not too far from the riverfront, I believe it is, is um, um, Marshes Park. All right. Uh, from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. This once again, let me start it all over again. This is uh Friday, I mean Saturday, October 17th, 2020, 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. We're gonna have Sabbath camp at Marshes Park down downtown Detroit, um, by the riverfront, uh Marshes Park. All right. Um we're gonna be there from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. That's Saturday, Saturday, October 17th, October 17th, 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. at Marshes Park, um, downtown Detroit. 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. is going to be the outdoor camp. Bring your Bibles, Apocryphus, notepads, bring your chair, whatever the case may be. If anything happens out there, we got to move or something like that. Um, y'all just keep up with us. I'll put up the email, Facebook, whatever. If you come out there and don't see us, maybe something happened, but, um, uh, most I will, you know, if we have to move or go to another location, we'll let you know, but hopefully the angels will be around us and that won't happen. We can get the word out. Have a nice Sabbath of teaching the word. Saturday night, Saturday night, Saturday night. All right, it's going to be the meet and greet, okay? Uh, it's going to be the um, meet and greet, Saturday night, 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. All right, 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. at Detroit Social, all right? I'm going um, to do a top part two to this video. I'm going to do. going to come back, y'all, do a second part. Um, so y'all can, uh, know, I'm gonna give y'all all the exact, I forgot to, um, bring the fly in front of me, so like, yeah, but, all right, who's that? We got it held down here, you should stay at home, who's that? Um, I don't know what you're talking about, brother. I don't know what the hell that means, we got it held down here, you should stay at home. Oh, but anyway, I don't know what that means. Um, but anyway, um, so that's Saturday night, 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. is the meet and greet. Saturday, I'm going to just say everything verbal now. I'm going to come back to part two and, and, and I'll give y'all uh, precise um, things. Um, Salakia. Salakia, y'all. Um, Sunday, Sunday, 5 p.m. is going to be a meeting for HOI members only. Uh, Shalom, the thunder in the building. Um, it's going to be a meeting for HOI members only um, Sunday. For those that are sincere about joining the body of HOI and building the body of HOI um, in the city of Detroit um, that want to be uh, members, recruits, or affiliates, um, that Sunday meeting will be for you. That's going to be at another undisclosed location because we don't want just everybody showing up to that. Because everybody that come out to hear the word may not necessarily want to be part of the body 
or want to join with the body for the work that we're doing in the Detroit area. Um, uh, so that's about it for, for now for my for this opening first video. I'm going to come back with all the exact locations. I'll be right back, brothers and sisters. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back with a part two. All right. I'm going to recap everything. Salakia. All right. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Yeah, shalom. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Shalom. Um, okay. So this is part two. I'm going to recap everything again. Recap everything again to give y'all a verbal announcement of all the events so you can know exactly what's going on. If you misread the flyer, you didn't see the flyer. You read the flyer up and down, but you still asking questions. Here it is again. We're going to do the rundown again. So HOI Northeast, HOI New York and New Jersey, HOI Atlanta, and HOI Detroit will be in Detroit, Michigan this uh, weekend, um, October 15th through 18th, 2020, um, breaking ground in Detroit to open up our new camp and congregation in Detroit. Now... Once again, the schedule of events are as follows. Thursday, October 15th, 2020 at even. Thursday, October 15th, 2020 at even will be the new moon eighth month. All right. That is location to be announced. That's by invite only. You will have to be vetted for that um, to be able to come to partake of the new moon service. That's Thursday, October 15th, 2020 at even at 8 p.m., all right? That's the new moon service, ninth month, will be held in Detroit, Michigan. That's our first day of events. The second day of events, while we'll be out there, second day of events will be Friday, October 16th, 2020, 8 p.m. until there will be camp street teachings at um, Greektown, all right, in Greektown, downtown Detroit, 508 Monroe Street. The exact address is 508 Monroe Street on Greektown, starting 8 p.m. 8 p.m., Friday night, October 16th, 2020. Friday night, Shabbat night. All right, the next event will be Saturday during the day, Shabbat day, 2 p.m. To, to 8 p.m., 2 p.m. to 8 p.m., um, Camp Street Teachings again. Camp Street Teachings again at Campus Marshes Park. Campus Marshes Park. That's 800 Woodward Avenue. 800 Woodward Avenue, 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. Saturday, downtown Detroit, October 17th, 2020. All right. Um, so like I should have had this in front of me before, but, you know, it's late, y'all. But anyway, that's Saturday for Sabbath during the day. Now, Saturday night is the HOI Detroit meet and greet. Saturday night is the HOI Detroit meet and greet. All right. That's going to be at Simply Social Detroit. All right. Simply Social Detroit, which is 3901 Christopher Street. 3901 Christopher Street, Detroit, Michigan, 48211. 48211 is the zip code. Once again, Simply Social Detroit. All right. Saturday night, 9 p.m. to 1 a.m., 3901 Christopher Street, Detroit, Michigan, 48211. Simply Social Detroit. That's where we'll be having an HRI meet and greet. All right. Come on out. Be in order. Uh, food and drinks will be served. Security will be tight. Um, don't come with no doctrines or no folly or no nonsense like that. Um, and, uh, you know, like I said, food and drink and refreshments will be served. Um, donations will be accepted. But uh, come on out and enjoy yourself. All right. Have some meat, you know, meet brothers and sisters and fellow Hebrews in the Detroit area. Um, you know, exchange numbers, information, whatever, you know. And uh, we'll be getting a feel of brothers and sisters who sincere who wants to come on out and uh, help HOI Detroit build. All right. Um, so that's Saturday night meet and greet. All right. Saturday night meet and greet at Simply Social Detroit. All right. Um, Sunday, Sunday, 
October 18th, 2020 at even. Sunday, October 18th, 2020 at even. We will be having the HRI <coughs> Members Council meeting for all members, affiliates, and future recruits of HOI Detroit. All right, we'll be having um, a meeting. That's gonna be a closed door meeting, not open to everybody. Um, only for those that are sincere about joining and building with the body of HOI in Detroit. All right, so that address will not be put out either. That address will not be put out either. That's gonna be at an undisclosed location. All right, um, so that's the four day schedule y'all for um, <clears throat> um, Detroit this weekend. Um, all praise to Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Most I will. We travel there safely. We get back home to our appointed destination safely. Um, and y'all come on out and fellowship, Israel. Hear the word. Fellowship with your brothers and sisters. You know, meet some new Hebrews from different areas. Um, we got some people coming in from a few different states. Um, not a lot of people like we wanted if we would have be able to advertise this thing a little bit earlier, but the most I'm going to make it do what it do. You know, if we have 20 new brothers and sisters out there, that's beautiful, you know, um, or whatever the number will be is all up to the most high, but most high will, will be there. The flyer is circulating, but once again, I felt it to give you a verbal breakdown of the itinerary so you know what's going on. All right. Give you a verbal breakdown of the itinerary so you know what's going on. So once again, I'm going to run through it one more time because just like the scriptures, you got to repeat everything to Israel multiple times so they can get it. All right. HOI presents, House of Israel presents HOI Breaking Ground in Detroit, HOI Northeast, New York and New Jersey, HOI Atlanta, and HOI Detroit, Breaking Ground in Detroit, Michigan, um, this weekend coming up, starting Thursday, four day weekend, Thursday, um, October 15th, 2020 at even 8 PM will be the new moon, eighth month service location to be announced by invite only. Once again, number two, Friday, Friday, October 17th. I mean, October 16th, so like it, my bad Friday, October 16th, 2020, at even 8 p.m. will be Street Teachings, Greek Town, downtown Detroit, um, 508 Monroe Street, 508 Monroe Street. All right, Saturday, Shabbat day, Saturday, Shabbat day during the day, um, Camp Street Teachings at um, Campus Marshes Park, Campus Marshes Park, 800 Woodward Avenue. Downtown Detroit, you know, you can look, you can Google the zip code, all that stuff, you know, directions if you're driving, whatever. If you're from the Detroit area, you should know exactly where it's at. So that Saturday, Shabbat day, street teachings, camp teachings, 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. Downtown Detroit, Campus Marshes Park, 800 Woodward Avenue, 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. Once we leave there, 9 p.m. to 1 a.m., we're heading over to the meet and greet, all right, for Saturday night. Sat um, Saturday's going to be a long day. Um, so the meet and greet is going to be at Simply Social Detroit. Simply Social Detroit, Saturday night, 9 p.m. to 1 a.m., 3901 Christopher Street, Detroit, Michigan, 48211. That's going to be the meet and greet for all... Um, Members, recruits, and affiliates of HOI Detroit. Please come in order. Food and drink will be the serve, will be served, but everything will be in order. Please come, um, you know, don't be gluttonous and a drunkard. All right, everything will be in order. We will have security. We will have brothers checking out everything that's going on. Um, and we ask you to come in order, all right? This is not a party. This is not a hangout. This is not a social club. This is not for brothers to come and try to holler at sisters. This ain't none of that. If we see any of that going on, you're going to be asked to leave, all right? And you will be vetted at the door. If we don't really know you like that and you're looking kind of funny and shaky and strange, then you're going to be vetted. Your brother, who are you? Do who you know here? Don't come in there with no doctrine. Don't come in there with no confusion, 
Don't come in here talking about, I got some scriptures that I want you to break down, brother, because, you know, uh, when I get the understanding, Christ said, you know, that we ain't got to do this or whatever, you know, I'm just, I'm just speaking, whatever. Don't come with no confusion, all right? If you leave your negativity and confusion home, all right, or don't come at all, you know, and you will be vetted and, you know, dealt with. But that's, a, you know, it's an open meet and greet for Israel. Come in order. Everybody, if you're Israel, you should be on your best behavior. All right, Sunday will be the meeting for the body of HOI. Meeting for the body of HOI Detroit. All right, a serious council meeting about our vision and our direction that we're going in for Detroit. All right, so that's it. Um, all right, Matthew 24, 14. Yahweh Shah said, this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world. <clears throat> and then shall the end come. And, um, you know, that's what we're doing. We're traveling around Israel to, uh, you know, Try to get this gospel out, all right? The next move is going to be international, starting to hit some other countries and everything. You know, this COVID kind of shut some things down or whatever, but um, we're, going, we're going to go wherever the Most High allow us to go, all right? Wherever the Spirit guide us and take us, all right? We're going to go where the Spirit guide us and take us. So, <clears throat> you know, um, uh, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 1, let the word have free course. All right, so do we have any questions or comments, brothers or sisters? Everybody kind of dropped off from part one. Have any questions or comments? All right, there's not much of y'all on here right now, so um, this video will be uploaded in um, the AM. And, um, you know, that'll be that. All right, well, it's, it's uploaded now. It'll be uploaded to YouTube in the AM, all right? So y'all can know uh, it could be on YouTube for the next couple of days. So any questions about the gathering in Detroit? I only see a few of y'all on here. That's why I like doing late night videos. Nobody on here. No scoffers. No wild questions. <laughs> no questions that you already know the answer to. We done covered on seven videos already. But as I'm here, if anybody, if the handful of people that's on here, if y'all have any questions... Feel free to ask. If not, I think I ran back over the schedule again. <clears throat> um, feel free to inbox me on here, Facebook, Kanai Zabak, or email me at um, House of Israel NYC. Um, what's up, T Dog Wallace? What's up, Bach? Um, Inbox me at House of Israel. I mean, email me at House of Israel NYC at gmail.com. House of Israel NYC at gmail.com. All right, so if you're in the Detroit area, come on out. You know, come on out in fellowship, man. You know, put on your fringes. Um, you know, put on your border blue, your fringes. Um, you sisters. Um uh put on your um put on your long dresses and skirts and your head coverings. All right, don't come around us with no mini skirts on, no poom poom shorts. No WAP suits come in order, especially if you come in, you know, to the meet and greet and, and uh, the body meeting. All right. Shalom, I don't want. All right. Um, so do that. All right. Come on out and, um, you know, fellowship with HOI and with Israel in general, man. You know, HOI is just a body. It's just a camp. It's just a group. Uh, brothers and sisters, a congregation that, that gets together and um, do the work of the Mossad that's like-minded, all right? But, you know, Israel, come on out. You know, some of y'all still deciding if you want to join a camp, you're still studying, whatever, that's all good. You know, we're not forcing you, but if and when you're ready to make that move, you know, we welcome you with open arms, all right? And uh, we for the nation, all right, all right? Who's that? We will be coming. Shalom. We will be coming from Cincinnati to come for this. Khan, all praises. Brother Roy Zephaniah. Khan, all praises. All praises. All right. It's going to be um, beautiful in the spirit of the Most High Yahweh Shah. All right. Um, let's just pray that everything goes well because man's goings are of the Lord, you know. And <laughs> sometimes you, you go on these trips or you do things and the Most High put a whole nother spin on things, but it always come out beautiful. Because, uh, you know, he has that element of surprise. So he, he he show you and give you things that's like, oh, wow. You know, 
You plan it out, but it's always going to come out the way the most I have it. All right. So, um, all right, Brother Royal Zephaniah, be a blessing to see y'all out there. Coming from Cincinnati, all praises. That's all praises. That's what's up. All right. Now, we coming with quite a few brothers. You know, um, I initially had, um, I initially had, um, you know, meant this trip for like four or five brothers. But, you know, maybe a, f a few more brothers might um, might want to, you know, Israel. Last minute. Oh, I want to go. Oh, here come brother number six, brother number seven. But, um, you know, if it's two of us there, God damn it. Yahweh Shah said, well, two or more gathered in my name, I am in the midst of them. So is there any more questions or comments? Any comments or questions? Any questions or comments in general? All right. Any questions or comments in general? All right. There's a lot going on in the nation. Um, you know, everybody hold fast, stay strong. And let me give y'all a little message, Israel. Um, you know, to the body of HOI, first and foremost, that's the, the, the body that I'm the senior and main elder over, along with the rest of the elders and senior men. But a message to HOI and to all of Israel in general, you know, I'm constantly examining the flow of the nation and certain things, man, I'm starting to say to myself, where the hell is this thing even going? You know, and um, I'm imploring my men and my body and my congregation to stay away from the folly, man. If it's not, you know, um, the scriptures say the prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. Um, I'm just quoting y'all, you know what I'm saying? The scriptures also say, um, where there's no wood, the fire goeth out. All right. So don't add, don't add fuel to the, to the, to the folly fire. I'm going to put it like that. Cause I, I just see certain things in Israel and it's like, where is this thing even going, man? You know, we just passed the day of atonement and we just came out of the holy day, holy day season. And you would think. And once again, I'm 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 speaking from a blanket, from a blanketed, uh, uh, you know, standpoint, for lack of a better word. You know, this is always for all of Israel. But um, stay away from folly, Israel. Stay away from foolishness. It's 2020. Um, we was having a conference call last night, and one of our brothers, um, Kasaja, um, H O I Philadelphia. Shout out to um Kasaja. Um, captain of uh, HOI Philadelphia. But um, the brother Kasaja brought up a good point and said, man, listen, you know, because we had a little situation we had to deal with, whatever, you know, that's neither here nor there internally. But um, he said, man, listen, it's, uh, you can obviously see the world is ending. And we don't, we don't have time to really be dealing with folly and trivial things. The scripture tell you in 2nd Ezra, let go from the mortal thoughts. Put off the weak nature, cast behind you the burdens of man, and set apart every thought that's heavy unto you. Second Ezra 14. I'm quoting y'all. We can get all this in a lesson or whatever, but um, I'm quoting. Y'all know the scriptures. If not, y'all will read them. But stay away from folly, Israel. That's a that's a that's a a, a order and a serious um. A serious statement of wisdom and encouragement to H to the body of HOI and to all of Israel, but to the body of HOI, I'm saying as an elder, um, stay, stand down from the foolishness, man. Don't don't entertain the 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 zone that these things are going into now. It, it any real serious man of the Most High Yahweh Shai. You're not gonna entertain folly, man, and and um maybe that'll you know it'll kind of you know how do, how do you say you um a person can't argue with themselves um maybe that will show some of the brothers and sisters the folly that they're engaging in if if it do, if you don't give it your energy. You know, I mean, you know, so we a nation, certain things got to get addressed, you know, whatever it, 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 if something is in sincerity, of course, like I always say, but 
to HOI and to all of Israel as a body and as a nation. And I love y'all. Even the ones of us that's not getting along right now for whatever reason. Um, I don't hate nobody. I don't wish nobody no harm. I'm not praying against nobody at night. I'm not mad at nobody because of what they believe in. You know, I, I spiritually spar with brothers back and forth. And if a doctrine comes up, when if I address it, it's not on a personal level. Most of the time I'm addressing it because the younger flock or the people may be asking questions. Well, these brothers over here are saying this or I heard this sister. I seen this sister post this or this brother said this scripture. So then you got to address it. And we Hebrews, we got, you know, we got finesse and energy. We might have a little fun with it, but it's never nothing personal with me. And I don't, I'm, I'm going to say this clear. I don't hate no other Hebrew for what they believe in. I might hate, like, if you say you love Esau, I might hate that. You love the nations, you know. If uh, if you teach in Israel, you know, um, just, just something way off, it could be anything. Then I hate that. I don't hate the brother or sister because they deceived or maybe they, they feel like what their studies, that's what they believe in, whatever. So let's not let's not make this thing personal, man. You know, make it personal of what the nations did to us. Make it personal when it comes to loving each other. Make it personal when it comes to building each other up as a nation. Make it personal when it comes to traveling to other cities and doing the work and waking your people up, you know, spreading the gospel. But um, everything else, man, leave the folly alone. And I'm, I'm saying this mainly to my camp, you know, as a body, HRI, we need to address anything or whatever. We talk about it as a body, if it ain't really serious or whatever, you know. But if it's folly and foolishness, because I'm, I'm just seeing the damn... Uh, uh, um, I'm just seeing the, the, uh, the nonsense, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that Israel engage in some time. And it's, it's, yo, it's crazy, man. Them, let me just say them curses run deep. Them curses run deep. And, um, we need to, we need to, um, you know, we need to really get into the spirit of the Mashiach and deal on that level. All right, he, um, he that have ears to hear, let him hear what the Spirit saith to the churches. All right, um, so I say that to say, let's get this work done, Israel. Um, what did brother say? Did King David make it personal? Um, be more specific with your question, brother, or what you're saying. Okay, who is that? Uno, West Laban, Yahweh, I don't know that, brother. I don't know who that is. Um, Uno, West, that's Spanish. Uno, oh, one West. Uno, West Laban, Yahweh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who you are, brother, but be a little bit more specific with your question. But anyway, um, uh, that's all I'm saying, Israel, is, is I love y'all, and um, it's 2020, it's going into 2021, it's late in the game. You know, I'm trying to get myself together more, man. I'm trying to grow in the spirit, mature from a lot of folly because I'm not perfect. You know, I, I get caught up. I, let, I allow myself to get caught up in certain things sometimes. I'm not saying I'm better than any brother, but I don't let it go to a certain level. I'm like, yo, let me let me just nip this in the bud now because I don't have time for it. We got I don't really see time for nothing outside of doing serious work of the Lord. Something got to get dealt with, address, bow, jump on it, do what it got to say, what needs to be said, whatever, correct it, whatever, keep it moving. So that's just a little word of encouragement to y'all, Israel. Um, that's all. Take it with a grain of salt. And there's always love in your heart and your heart was shy. Um, and that's that. But let's let's get this work done, man. You know, we trying to hit these cities. We trying to go to Detroit and all these other cities. Uh um, somebody just said, when the kingdom was divided, did King David make it a personal mission to unite it, even if it called for the death of those that divided the flock? Of course, brother, I just, um, you're asking a question that I already answered. I said, make it personal when you build in this nation. Make it personal when you serve in your heart, when your heart was shy. 
Make it, I just said that. So you asking a question that I already addressed. I already said that, brother. So yes, make it personal when you're building this nation. Don't make it personal when you're dealing with brothers. For example, brothers get proud and think this truth is only about them. They're making it personal. All right, that's making it personal. You get proud and puffed up and the most is not only dealing with you. All right, that's what I mean. That's an example of making it personal. Like you seeking preeminence. Like I tell you in Sirach, the seventh chapter. All right, you seek in preeminence and only Yahweh Shai has the preeminence. So that's what I'm talking about, brother. So you're asking a question I already addressed. All right, you double talking. All right, you just posted that for no reason because I addressed something like that. I said in that instance, yes, it's personal. All right, so um, I hope thou are not being a gainsayer. All right. Oh, now no nigga, there's only one body. Um, all right, brother, whatever, because now you you going left with it, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I don't know you, dude, so whatever, all right? Um, because you're going left with it, and this is exactly what I'm talking about. Stay away from folly. Shalom, Hadara. All right, what you doing up? The baby must be got you up. All right, Shalom, hope you and your family as well. But um, I don't know this guy. Who is this guy? No nigga, there's only one body. All right. Okay, brother. Whatever. All right. Perfect example of what I'm talking about. To stay the hell away from. But anyway, I digress. All right. All right. Um, Stay out, Detroit. I'll be in Detroit this weekend, brother. All right. If you got a problem with that, you can come and talk to me about it. All right. Now you you running your mouth and you and you saying you sounding and looking stupid now, brother. Don't tell me to stay out of nowhere, brother. I go wherever the Most High allow me to go. You got a problem with it? I'll be in Detroit this weekend. You can come talk to me about it. And I'm not even talking on a carnal level. Wherever you feel I need to stay out of Detroit, you can come and tell me about that, brother. All right. So cut it out, brother. Whoever you are. All right. Um, I don't even know how you got on my friends list. Well. Or got on, maybe you're not my friend, it's public. All right. Shalom, Royal Zephaniah. That's what I'm talking about. Bring that positive energy back. All right. Bring that positive energy back. I don't know you, I don't even know how this dude got on my friends list. If um he coming like that. Or maybe my page is public, so sometimes um people can come on here. But um, brother, keep it in the spirit, brother. Keep it negative. I mean, don't don't um don't come with negativity. All right, you want to address me on anything? I'll be in Detroit this weekend, most high willing, if I get there safe and sound. So, don't tell me to stay out of Detroit, brother. You're not the most high. You're not even the um the police or the authority. So don't tell me to stay out of Detroit, brother. Whoever you are, I go wherever the spirit got me to go. All right. Um, but anyway, back to the fact of the matter. So yeah, Israel. Um. A prime example of what I was talking about. Don't, um, you know, don't engage folly, man. You know, because it's just too much work to do. It's too much work to do to build this nation. Um, it's too much work to do to build. So, like, yeah, I'm trying to light my Frank and Murr. It's too much work to do to build this nation. To build this nation up, um, then to engage in folly. That's what I'm saying. You know? Um, so that's all we're saying. Just stay away from the negativity. Stay away from the folly. Stay in the spirit and do your part. The most high, the scriptures say, give your calling. Give diligence. Um, <laughs> T. Dog Wallace said, the devil never sleep. Yeah, it's, damn, I'm on the West Coast and it's, what is it? It's after two o'clock in the morning. So if you're on the East Coast, if you if you on the East Coast, it's five in the morning. I think I think Detroit is on New York time. All right. Just being a demon early in the damn morning, man. All right. But see, I don't even I don't even like to pay stuff like that attention. I normally ignore stuff like that. But um, you know. Don't come on, don't come on my live brother telling me where to stay out of, brother. Don't come on, don't do that. 
It's oh, it's six a.m. Yeah, it's damn. Near, it's three down at three o'clock in the morning on my coast. I'm just trying to give y'all an update on the um, gatherings in Detroit. You see that? You see, you see how quick Israel? You see that? You see how quick? I'm I'm talking as I'm talking about it. Satan manifests as I'm talking about it. <laughs> but anyway, um, any more questions or comments, brothers? I'm gonna get up off of here, man, because I'm not I'm not trying to entertain any negativity. All right, I'm not I'm not trying to do that, man, at all. All right. Um all praises to Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Once again, Kwame Ashala, we still got next. Um once again, that's the that's the um that's the schedule for Detroit this weekend. So if y'all coming out and if you're in the area, come on out. Um support the camp, support the gatherings. Like I said, don't come with no negativity. Don't come with no nonsense. Um, you know, and come in the spirit of the most high of my Shiak Yahweh Shai. Forever and ever, amen. Shalom, Sister Erica. Shalom, Brother John Bush. Um, any questions or comments about Detroit or anything in general? No? All right. So I guess that's it. All right. Shalom. Shalom. All right. So once again, I'm going to run the schedule down before I get off again. Because some of y'all, we circulated the flyer all over the place. And yeah, stay strong, brother. You too. T-Dog Wallace. All praises. Thanks for the encouraging words, brother. All praises. Stay away from the negativity and the folly. Because Satan never sleeps. All right. Uh, 1 Peter 5 and 8. All right. Be sober. Be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil... Walketh about seeking whom he may devour. All right. Uh, Job, the second chapter, Satan is up and down, to and fro and up and down in the earth. Devil don't sleep. And sometimes he comes even by the way of, of Israelites, so-called believing Israelites. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But anyway, uh, much love, Israel. Um, We're going to take that with a grain of salt. I, you know, I tell you, I stay away from the negativity and the evil. Um, so once again, Thursday, October 15th, 2020, um, 8 p.m. at even new moon service, eighth month. All right. Um, Friday, October 17th at even 8 p.m. Greek town camp, 508 Monroe street, 508 Monroe street. Um, I forgot it's near that. That sign in that casino. When I was there in August, um, I saw it was there. But anyway, um, that's Friday. Saturday. Saturday during the day, 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. Campus Marshes Park. Campus Marshes Park. 800 Woodward Avenue. All right. 800 Woodward Avenue. If there's any change in any of these locations, we'll let y'all know. All right. Um, Saturday night, 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. 9 p.m. to 1. Shalom, Shem. Shalom, Allah Kakam. Um, 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. Simply Social Detroit. Meet and greet. 3901 Christopher Street, Detroit, Michigan, 48211. That's for the meet and greet Saturday night. All right. Shalom. Shalom, everybody. Um, and then Sunday will be a camp congregation council for um, affiliates, members and recruits of HOI Detroit. All right. And um, the few of the brothers from the um, cities that's coming with me, you know, we'll all have a meeting together with the body. All right, so that's the schedule for the weekend, y'all. That's the schedule for the weekend um, for HOI Breaking Ground in Detroit. Any more questions or comments? And I love y'all, Israel. And um, Salakia, you know, had to get, get, get like that a little bit earlier. That's not my spirit. I usually don't entertain negativity. But um, as we can see, Satan never sleeps. All right, so... Um, that's why we can't sleep in righteousness, you know. The most I said in Isaiah 62, 6 and 7, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, um, O Jerusalem. 
ye that make mention of the Lord, um, keep not silence day nor night. I'm paraphrasing Isaiah 62, 6 and 7. All right. When I do videos like this, I more so do a commentary. I just, you know, quote the scriptures off the top of the head as opposed to an actual lesson, you know. But everything is always scripture. He's not reading out of the Bible, you know, but I'm quoting it. We can go back over the video. Hell, I'll go back over the video and read all these scriptures. All right, so that's it. All praises to Yahweh, Bashiva, Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. Um, the Wada Israel, um, some of y'all responded to the video for the shofars and the menorahs. Um, or pray, remember, we still got the menorah ch chains. Go to the Brew Boutique. Or you can you can uh, message me and get them through me also. Thanks for the support. Not to make merchandise out of Israel, but there's nothing wrong with us making commerce amongst ourselves. Um, so the water for the little bit of business um, with uh, from the menorah videos and the shofars. I'm going to get some more out to y'all. Um, I got some more to go out tomorrow and Thursday between tomorrow and Friday. So y'all look out. Um, so y'all get y'all in the mail. And uh, the water for all the support. So come on out to Detroit, to the Detroit area, um, and fellowship. And next on the list is Buffalo, New York. If you're in the upstate New York area or tri-state New York area, I'm going to put a bug in your ear for that. That's the next move. That will be November 7th, Buffalo, New York, November 7th. So put that. But we, we once we get... Um, he tried out of the way most of will everything go smooth then we'll go that and then december we're having a um a hanukkah getaway weekend in vegas okay a hanukkah getaway weekend in vegas um december 11th through 14th so that's once we get detroit out of the way we got buffalo new york coming up november 7th and then we got a Hanukkah holiday, uh, holy day Hanukkah um, weekend getaway for the eight days of Hanukkah. That weekend that comes in between Hanukkah, we're going to be having a gathering in Vegas, fellowshipping and gathering in Vegas. All right, camp. We're going to have a Sabbath service, class, a lesson on Hanukkah, and then gathering different events or whatever um, throughout Vegas for the weekend. All right, that's December 11th through 14th. You can RSVP for that now. But we're getting, you know, each, once we get one trip out the way, we announce the other one, announce the other one. All right, so get an early start on those now, too, if you're in the New York or tri-state area, upstate New York, Buffalo. We're trying to get the Buffalo before the most I really put the deep freeze on it. All right, so that'll be, um, just to update y'all, that'll be November 7th, Buffalo and... Las Vegas, December 11th through 14th. All right, so come on out and fellowship. You know, if you have the money, resources, time, you can travel. Come on out and fellowship with HOI, especially the members of the body. All right, so with that, I'm going to sign off. Um, Priest Sabak, HOI to the chariots fly. All praise to you, when you have a shot forever and ever. Amen. Kwame Asha'Allah, we still got next. Hallelujah. All praise to you, when you have a shot forever and ever. Amen. Salakia, for getting like that earlier. Um, Israel, I really should have ignored, you know, the negative spirits, but answer not a fool according to his folly, but then answer a fool according to his folly, lest he be wise in his own conceit. By Hashem and Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. Kwame Asha'Allah, we still got next. Hallelujah. All praise to Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, forever and ever. My month, H-O-I to the chariots fly. We still got next. H-O-I uh, pull up, boys. Bring it out. All the camps in Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, throughout the four corners of the earth that are sincere in love and truth. And most of all, we see y'all in Detroit, Buffalo, November 7th, Vegas, December 11th through 14th. Come on through Israel and fellowship. By Hashem, Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, everybody have a blessed and productive day. All praises to Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, forever and ever, our mind. Shalom.